Hello Pisces, thank you so much for checking out my channel. This is going to be a reading um, to take a peek into your person. This could be a present person or a future person. Um, this reading will not resonate with every Pisces out there, so just keep that in mind. Check out your other signs for more messages. Sometimes those resonate more. So I'm going to look at what is on this person's mind, how they see you, how they see the connection, what's challenging the connection and the outcome. So let's see what this is all about. Spirit, please bring forth messages regarding Pisces person. Thank you so much for your likes and your subscribes. I've been reading all of your comments as well. Um, thanks again for everybody that has subscribed. I appreciate it. So let's see what's going on with your partner. Spirit, what's on their mind? Oh, okay. Ten of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. I just had this for Sagittarius. So I feel like I'm going to tell you what I told Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You should check out that reading. Um, but um, this this is, yeah, devil. This person is going through a lot right now. And that's why it's taking them so long to make this offer. They've been dealing with some serious energies, maybe overcoming addictions or just you know, feeling trapped in a situation. How do they see Pisces? Now, energies can be reversed, so feel free to um, flip the rules if it fits. Okay, so they see you as guarded. Yeah, they see you as guarded and kind of um, cold, maybe, with the Queen of Swords and Nine of Wands here. They may see you as a little tough. <laughs> yeah, definitely guarded with the four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. How do they feel about this connection? How do they feel about this connection? I'm not gonna take that because that was sloppy. How do they feel about this connection with Pisces? <laughs> Tower, two of cups, nine of cups. So I feel like this connection has rocked their world a little bit with the tower. Again, I feel like these people, whoever this is, they have gone through it. They're going through something right now or something will happen. But they see you as their wish fulfillment here. They're two of cups. You are their end all be all. This is a connection that is very strong, almost like a soulmate type of connection. That's how they feel about this connection anyway have the sun at the bottom of the deck so I feel like you make them very happy what's blocking this connection okay seven of Pentacles okay so maybe the challenge to this connection is someone's waiting and they might miss an opportunity here with the four of cups if you guys hear that in the background it's my my dog so just please ignore him I have a piece of bread up here and he's very interested what's the outcome of this connection okay Man, these cards want to talk today. Outcome, death, hermit, king of wands. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn. I see Scorpio, two for Scorpio here. I feel there's going to be a transformation here. There's going, there's a lot of passion and attraction, chemistry here. Someone might retreat um, from this connection at first. They might reject them at first or vice versa. One of you is going to probably reject or run away from the other. Um, but I definitely feel like with the fool at the bottom of the deck, someone's going to take a chance here. I feel like it could be you. Someone's willing to take a chance here on this connection. Oops. I'm going to clarify with a different deck. All of these spirit, please help me clarify these messages for Pisces. February 14th through the 21st, 2020. Messages for Pisces. This is a solid offer though. I don't see player energy or 
anything like that. I mean, this person could be to a toxic person or something like that, or they've been, they were probably in another relationship that was toxic. Um, so, but I don't think that they're the ones because of the two of cups and the nine of cups here. And by the way, I just split the deck and I have queen of pentacles and the lovers. I feel like this is a stable, solid connection. All right. Tell me about the devil, the knight of pentacles and the 10 of swords. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so we got eight of wands. So someone wants to talk, anything else? For the devil, knight of pentacles and 10 of swords for Pisces. There you are, Pisces. Someone wants to talk to you. <laughs> I don't know if it's any clearer than that. And um, it could also be that someone um, doesn't know how you feel. Again, with the guarded energy and the queen of swords here, someone doesn't know how you feel. They're trying to get to know you. Tell me about the queen of swords and the nine of... Oh my God, my cards are just flying out today. I'm just going to take them because... Okay, so here... We have King of Swords, Ace of Swords. They want to talk. Um, but they don't know how you feel. They're afraid you're going to reject them with the High Priestess and the Five of Cups. This person feels like they have to knock down some walls to get to you, Pisces. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Pentacles. Again, I feel like even though you're hard to talk to, I don't think they're going to stop or give up. I have 10 of cups under here, seven of pentacles again. It's like this person's going to wait for the right time. Um, but you know, you don't wanna have a four of cups energy here where you miss out on an opportunity on a true connection. Okay, tell me about the tower, two of cups and nine of cups. I feel like with the tower two, you might not see this coming. And it's going to like rock your world or that's just what I heard. Rock your world. You're not going to expect it. So, um, yeah. Okay. So they feel that they want a give and take here. They want equal partnership here with you. They want it all with you. Want to take you out on a date, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that's how they're viewing this connection. Um, maybe you're also viewing that your next connection needs to be this type of energy. I feel like you don't want to just give, give, give any more Pisces. Tell me more about the seven of pentacles. This is what's blocking the connection. King of cups, the empress. Interesting. This is an amazing partnership with the king of cups and the empress. Hmm. I feel like this person might go on too strong. <laughs> it's like they were waiting and waiting and they couldn't wait any longer. So they rushed in with King of Wands energy. They, they have so much emotion for you. They're so attracted to you and see a future with you so badly that they might come on a little too strong. They might come on a little too emotional maybe um and you're like not in that mindset with the queen of swords right now because your your walls are up i feel like you're not going to just let anybody in and so at first you might like retreat with the hermit because you're like you need to back up tell me about the outcome here with the uh, death hermit and king of wands about the outcome here for Pisces with the Hermit and King of Wands. Four of Wands. Okay. Anything else for the outcome for Pisces and this other person? I Again, I feel this is a very stable connection. I feel like that's where it's headed. Yep, marriage. This is headed towards marriage with the Hierophant and the Four of Wands. Clear as day. That's the outcome of this connection. Don't miss out, Pisces. This person really wants this bad. This could also be vice versa. Some signs here have Taurus, 
Virgo, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, Scorpio again. So definitely I feel like to give this person a chance or at least hear them out because they are very interested in you and making this a stable com connection. I'm going to leave it there. Pisces, thank you so much for checking out this video. Comment down below if this resonated with you. Subscribe if you like what I do and I'll see you guys in my next one.